documented history of being very welcoming to refugees looking to resettle here in the U.S. According to the State Department, over the past 30 years, some 60,000 refugees have resettled here, with as many as 10,000 coming in the last four years. Today, around 150 of them competed in the Sacramento World Refugee Day Cup. It's a soccer tournament celebrating World Refugee Day. Fox 40's Doug Johnson brings us that story. I think the foundation of this country is based on immigration. Shafi Rahimi came to Sacramento five years ago. After a decade working in the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan, a job which eventually became too dangerous. And there were target killings uh, because of the religious beliefs that they had. Uh, actually, I should say false religious beliefs that they had. Today, he's team captain of Afghan United, an adult soccer team out of Elk Grove. It's an amazing uh, tournament. We are having a great time. His is one of 14 soccer teams playing at Papa Murphy's Park at Cal Expo in the Sacramento World Refugee Day Cup. We have teams from Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Mexico, Ukraine, Russia. Put on by World Relief Sacramento, refugees we spoke with say these type of events really help those families who just moved here. When I first got here in Sacramento in 2014, when I didn't know where to go and find like a halal store or halal restaurant or places that where I could go for shopping. This is what the community, if you can make friendship and you know each other. Some tell us they saw friends here today they haven't seen in years. He was my co-worker back in Afghanistan. He drive all the way like six hours. But the connections and friendships made on the pitch go beyond a refugee's country of origin. Uh, we have Russians, we have, of course, Ukrainians, uh, we have from Uzbekistan, we have Moldovian. Rahimi says it's easier to relate to other refugees no matter what country they're from. I have a couple of Mexican friends and, and we do hang out, you know, play pools, billiards, snooker sometimes. And this event isn't just about soccer. There's also an effort to help these refugee families be successful here in Sacramento. That's why they're offering this job fair here behind me where not only can they find work, but also more information on how they can get education for themselves and their children. And we have Starbucks, Walmart, different people here who can help uh, people with, with active resumes get hired on the spot. The most we talk to agree that soccer is the great unifier. Back in Ukraine, uh, we, we love soccer. At Papa Murphy's Field. The rules are all the same. Doug Johnson. Why soccer? Because it's the world's game. Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you so much. Well, it's Pride Month, everyone, and many are out celebrating.